are doing really well. In today's video, I'm sharing with you which oils are best to use at home to massage your face with. It's a question many of you have asked, uh, so hopefully I'm going to be able to, to help you with exactly that. I am also going to be sharing with you what not to use, which is just as essential to know. I'm not going to be covering some of the high street products out there. There are some incredible oils out there, blends that, that feel and smell beautiful. That's not what I'm focusing on today. I'm focusing on easy, affordable, accessible oils that you will possibly have in your kitchen cupboard. If you're into your skincare, into looking after yourself and well-being, you might like to subscribe and hit the bell so that you are first in the know when I share some new videos. Let me tell you why I'm sharing this with you. I have been in the skincare and therapist industry for over 20 years. I have had my hands on many a face and body uh, and many a famous face and body. I have a clinic in central London. I have a book called Love Your Skin, which you will find on Amazon. Um, so yeah, I've, I've, I've got a little bit of knowledge and skill that I'm hoping, uh, you know, I can give you some of that to help you with your skin at home. So let's jump straight in with uh, my first oil, which you can very easily get hold of, and it's one that many of you have asked me specifically about, coconut oil. So coconut oil, I have a jar here. It is the only oil that is solid at room temperature that uh, is in the kind of lineup today. Most of the oils actually that are used within the beauty industry and the, the food industry are, are more liquid. So to be honest, I can smell, it smells beautiful coconut oil and I think that's also part of the attraction to it. It will um, liquefy if the temperature is warm or if it's left in a warm bathroom or, or something like that. So it's actually an easy one. I have little pots of it that I travel with for exactly that. A, it's not a liquid, so it can easily go, you know, on and off aeroplanes, uh, but it won't spill. It's, I don't know, it's a great one to travel with. It's a great one if you're stuck for a cleansing oil as well. Smush, massage, rinse off with a cloth. What I love about coconut oil is it's great for helping to restore barrier, the skin's barrier. It's really nourishing, it's really rich. So if you have dry skin, if you are aging, as most of us are, but from a certain age onwards, and dryness and crepiness is particularly of a concern for you, or maybe you have, I'm not gonna say, it's not gonna cure any skin concerns as in eczema and psoriasis, it's not. But if you were that way inclined with your skin, then of all of them, coconut is probably the better one for you to use because of exactly that. It's nourishment, it's, it actually has a slight antimicrobial benefit to it. I think a lot of them do, do state that when you kind of read up on them. Nourishment, comfort blanket, if you are oily prone or acne prone, then coconut oil might not be for you. Actually, you might find online that, because uh, I, th I think a couple of years ago, coconut oil suddenly became the new amazing, just fabulous thing to use within the skincare industry. Um, and you will find that the stories online about, you know, someone has switched from using their traditional skincare and just using coconut oil and it's cured their acne. I'm not doubting those claims from those people's journeys, but I know more often than not, if you are acne prone and you start massaging your face with coconut oil, then it might bring you out with a few spots. Okay, so that's that's number one. Number two, and firstly, I'm, I'm not gonna suddenly start to uh, quaffing wine in front of you, or I should say champagne. I was looking for something to easily show you the different oils, and the only thing I could actually find was a champagne glass. Uh, 
that sounds very posh and swanky, doesn't it? No, it's because they're the only ones that are in the cupboard gathering dust because they don't get much use. So, in here is not Chardonnay. Uh, this is olive oil, and you will see it's got a, a slightly greeny, yellowy colour to it. I think many of us are really familiar with olive oil. You've potentially got it in your kitchen. You might drizzle it onto salads or cook with it. It's um, it's got a really distinct scent, um, and I love that on my salads, but I don't often want that on my face. However, it is packed with vitamins, I think A, D, E, K. Um, there isn't loads of research on olive oil, not that I'm aware of, I could be wrong, um, on the olive oil benefits topically as a face oil. Uh, a lot of its research and things that you'll find out there is more for consuming as in what, what we're eating. But it's uh, obviously Mediterranean oil. It is a great one, it's accessible, but what puts me off personally is its scent. Um, yeah, but hey, it's safe to use. You're not gonna do any damage, it will do the job. Um, don't discount olive oil if you don't mind smelling of a salad. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, so you will immediately see this is much lighter, a little bit like a Pinot, Pinot Grigio. Um, this is sunflower oil. You might see it's, can we see that? This is a little bit thicker, it's sticking to the sides more, whereas this is finer. If you are starting with an oil and a natural oil, sunflower is an amazing one to start with. It's kind of slightly lighter in its texture. Well, there is something called comedogenic. I always say that wrong. Um, but you might see on some of your skincare products saying non-comedogenic, which means it's been tested in the labs and it's not supposed to cause spots. So if we had a comedogenic scale, sunflower oil falls on zero. So if you are slightly more oily prone skin, sunflower is a great one to start with. Sunflower is a great one to start with for all skin types. And if you're sensitive, um, there's not a skin actually that sunflower oil isn't good for. And it is, it's quite affordable. Your olive oils and your coconuts are a little bit more expensive, whereas your sunflower, you can get really affordably and there's no scent, which is quite nice. I have, on occasion, when I was younger, um, if I was a bit of a dirty stop out, um, and you haven't got your makeup with you or your makeup remover, cotton pads nip down to the kitchen, out of the kitchen cupboards. Often people have sunflower oil, put sunflower oil onto damp cotton pads and you can wipe off makeup and you look as fresh as a daisy. Just a little tip there. Okay, so that's number three. Uh, number four, let me show you this. You will immediately see this is a more orangey colour. This is rosehip seed oil. This is one of the oils you probably won't find in your kitchen cupboard, but more in your beauty cabinet. You can often find it in uh, your health food store, but probably under the beauty section. So rosehip seed oil, it is packed with vitamin C as well as anti-inflammatory benefits, which makes it amazing for aging skin. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's a really nice in-betweeny oil. So if I was, you know, if I was personally going to choose one of the oils that I'm mentioning, I'd probably go for rosehip seed oil. It does suit many skin types. Um, and again, I think there's loads of studies out there on its skin benefits specifically. So that is number one, two, three, that's number four. Um, oh, I mean, actually, if have you tried any of those that I've, that I've mentioned? I would love to know. Have you, do you love one of those? Is there an oil that, that you hate? You've tried it and it brought you out or made you sensitive? Uh, you know, is there some that I'm not mentioning today that you absolutely think are amazing? 
put your comments below and it would be great if you do go hey I love sunflower oil put your skin type so that the other people reading the comments might go ah okay that is one that I need to try yeah let's let's share some love and a bit of knowledge between us as well okay number five argan oil I have not got an argan oil here to show you it is quite similar to the rosehip seed oil argan oil traditionally from north africa uh, so the, the from argan nuts and um i don't know whether you've heard of the goat trees you can you will find this online i when i was in in marrakesh driving along you're kind of looking at the window taking in the scenery and you mentally go oh yes look at the goats in the trees and then you kind of double take because there's loads of trees and loads of goats up in the branches of the trees and it's the goat trying to get the argan nuts which is insane uh, but they obviously know something you know the goats are onto something with the argan oil it is commonly used in beauty products uh, as a base oil um, it, it's similar to your rosehip seed oil it's a good all-rounder anti-inflammatory Again, it's one of those, if I was thinking of age prevention, it's one I would probably choose. It has, in its raw state, it's got a little bit of a funky smell to it. You know, argan is another pretty, pretty good all round, if we're thinking of age prevention kind of oil. <clears throat> so, I did tell you at the beginning of the video, I was gonna share what not to use. So, what not to use is mineral oil. You might also know this as baby oil. Many of you have asked me this. Baby oil, mineral oil, so Vaseline is a mineral oil. It is not a plant-based oil. It coats the skin and that's its main function. It kind of causes a bit more of a waterproof barrier. I have had many people say that baby oil makes their skin really sensitive. It's definitely brought the most spots. Um, it's cheap, it's accessible, but definitely not for massaging your face with. It's, it's going to leave, even if you kind of wipe it off with a cloth, a little bit of a film over the skin, you know, and it might be over time that you do come out with a few spots. Um, so yeah, mineral oil is a big fat no when it comes to face massage. But all the other plant-based oils are a definite yes, you can. Hopefully you now know a little bit more about what oils to choose for your skin type. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to sharing more. Oh, actually, now that you know what to massage your face with, I have other videos uh, on face massage so now you know what oil to use you can go and find some of the other videos that i've done on face massage there's an anti-aging facelifting massage there's something for the gels so lots of videos to help you look after your skin at home